for the 18th anniversary, right? That's right. No one else does either. Oh. All right. Should we get in the news? Yeah. A visitor to a South Carolina state park captured video showing a trio of law-abiding alligators using a crosswalk to make their way across the road. Bill Angle posted a video on Facebook showing the three alligators using the crosswalk at Huntington Beach State Park so they could swim in the nearby water. Absolutely. <laughs> I think that's great. Yeah. Teach them young. Yeah. Teach other species. I get it. Yeah. I mean, why not use the crosswalk? That's what we built it for. That is, for alligators. Alligators need to be safe too. Yeah. I mean, they don't, you know, they're not allowed to carry guns. I don't know how they would protect themselves. They do have, some of them have knives. So, uh, all right, so we'll move on to the next story. Pennsylvania State Police are on the hunt for a loose goat that has repeatedly been seen wandering in traffic on a busy highway. He said multiple witnesses have reported the white and brown goat running into traffic in recent days on U.S. Route 6 between Route 89 and Tarbell Road. So, if you're driving through that area. And you see a biracial goat. Do not give him a ride. Actually, give him a ride to the police station. He's wanted. I don't care how nice he looks. <laughs> Man. Golf clean cut professional to tie. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> He's wanted for jaywalking and stealing trash. <laughs> give people devil eyes. That's right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you could just place a scream in there where I did that. Make it girly. <laughs> Does that sound like Jamie Lee Curtis? <laughs> but yeah. which Halloween movie? Ah. She's been in a few now. Yeah. Well, the latest one. She, she's a little older. I didn't see the. I haven't seen. Uh, matter of fact, I haven't seen. I, I haven't, haven't really seen, seen any of them. Two of the Halloweens, like the early. Yeah, Halloweens. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and and every time I hear the name Michael Myers, I think of Mike Myers. I know. Me too. <laughs> I don't think of. Me too. Do with the mask. Well, oh, yeah. Mike Myers is in this one. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> That wasn't, that wasn't funny at all. No, that was horrible. <laughs> Guy chasing I laughed three times. Yeah, I love Shrek, but this was <laughs> terrible. This guy's just hacking people up. Man. Slowly sneaking up behind them. That's been, always been my problem with the Jason movies, Michael Myers. These guys move at like two miles an hour. Yeah. And somehow they always catch up to their victims who are running at top speed. Or, you know, if you're a six foot eight dude, how do you walk through a house without making a board squeak? Yeah. You think? I, I can't walk. I try to tiptoe past my kid's bedroom. It's like, <laughs> it's true. It's true. The, the quieter you try to be, the louder it is. It's so, totally true, man. Yeah, there's no way a six foot eight giant of a monster is going to be walking through my house without us all feeling it. Feeling it. <laughs> man, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that either. Very confused. Yeah. So Maybe they just made houses better. It's real quiet. Awful Can't quiet. hear a thing. Why is that shower curtain closed? It's <laughs> never closed. Oh, well, let me go open it up. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> no, I'm not going to turn the light on. Are you crazy? No, no. I don't want to spook who's ever, whoever's in there. In fact, I'll just leave it closed and I'll do something right. facing away from it. Like, yeah. brush my teeth. Yep. Play some loud music and put some headphones in. <laughs> I was going to shave, but... I'm going to leave this. I use an old razor, you know, straight edge. I'll just leave this over here yeah, right. by the shower. What could possibly <laughs> uh, I'll just read it. The city of Venice, Italy, is reducing the maximum capacity of its gondolas from six people to five. Harmless. But the reason isn't related to COVID-19. Because you think, you know, we got to go. Yeah. It's an issue of the tourist's weight. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, Andrea uh, Bob, uh, I'm sure I'm probably pronouncing that, Bobby. Bobsled? Go Bob ahead. Bobsled. Uh, the president <laughs> of Venice's uh, Gondola Association, which oversees the city's licensed gondoliers, uh, said the decision was made to reduce the capacity of the boats to ease the strain on the boatmen who propel them. <laughs> ease the strain. <laughs> <laughs> Is there six massive Are we overweight sitting on a landfill? <laughs> It can't be the Italians that are getting any fatter. They've always no. been the same size, so it's got to be tourists. Yeah. 
It's, it's Americans. We can't take his. We it's take those his. huge Japanese people. <laughs> They're all so big. <laughs> wow. It's a He's, weight I'm issue. I'm just thinking of these six fat people trying to get out of this. They're guy. probably and thinking. That sweat coming off the gondoliers guy. Sees <laughs> <laughs> him coming down three, the walk. Three, three people get on. It's starting to go. He goes, drip. Drip, drip. <laughs> yeah. Well, just seeing him walking, I'm going, please God, no. Please God, no. <laughs> you hear it? Squeak and sit there. They stand in the middle of this boat. I told you, no 600 pounders at the back. We're gonna, <laughs> you're going to go like this. I, my stick <laughs> won't even reach. <laughs> <laughs> you in the center, fat boy. <laughs> You gotta get in the middle. That would be me. I'd have to sit in the end, <laughs> sit in the end and propel him out of the boat. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we lost three. We lost three. <laughs> uh, next one is a Long Island criminal defendant. This Ooh. is one you sent me. Okay. Uh, a Long Island criminal defendant tried faking his death to avoid a jail sentence, but the phony death certificate his lawyer submitted had a glaring spelling, glaring spelling error. That made it a dead giveaway for a fraud, prosecutor said Tuesday. Robert Berger, 25, of Huntington, New York, now faces up to four years in prison if convicted of the alleged scheme. That's in, in addition to the pending sentences for earlier guilty pleas. He's charged with possession of a stolen Lexus, attempted grand larceny of a truck. Punishment, prosecutors say he was looking for one. Where was this from? Long Island, New York. It'd be really funny if you said Long Island, New Jersey or something. Just something dumb. <laughs> or misspelled, you know. Long Island, uh, Long Island. <laughs> yep. With your auntie. That's right. Uh, well, registry was spelled Red Citry. Oh, yeah. you never seen the Red Citry? Yeah. But they, because it's, uh, it's, it's, I guess it's in the header. It's the, uh, that's the what I. Department of Health, Vital Statistics, and Registry, but he's spelled it Red Citry. Yeah. That's how they were. Right. He's from oh, Iowa. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's how Iowans spell it, though. So, <laughs> I think. Yeah, if it's been Long Island, Iowa, he would have been See, blind. See, he, he would have known. known. Yep. He would have walked away. Yeah. He'd have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for them pesky kids. <laughs> <laughs> and that talking llama. <laughs> it's Old Man Rivers. <laughs> yeah. Put the mask on. I knew. Yeah. From uh, the amusement park? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's Principal time. Johnson. <laughs> How do you know principals? You guys are never in school. <laughs> Ever. Oh, man, they're man. supposed to be teenagers, right? And they're yeah. never in school. Yeah, they're never in school. They also all pretty much look like adults except for Velma. Yeah. Well, Velma, she's kind of weird. She has the glasses. And the... She is weird. Yeah. You know, they made a lot of the... <clears throat> Uh, cartoon characters with glasses a little weirder, didn't they? Yeah, that's like her. To be like nerds. And then uh, uh, I remember, uh, oh, what was that? Oh, Peppermint Patty, her friend Marcy. She Marcy, was a nerd. Yeah, she, was kind she of had nerd. glasses. She had glasses yep. Yeah, you and I, nerds, glasses. That's a given. Yeah. I didn't start out with glasses. I, I, I grew into them. I did too. They slowly formed on my face. Yeah, that's so <laughs> my descent into nerdery. <laughs> When I, when, I, when I finished all of Star Trek Enterprise, they were done. Well, it's time for a break. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay, we're back from our break. We have done with the break. All right. Now it's time to get back to work. You fat people. <laughs> you son of a hamster. <laughs> you mother stuff to them. It's like, what a great time. Catch my dirty handkerchief. Oh, I don't want to. I wish you would. I'm gonna sing everything in a second. All right, so I wanted okay, to do this, uh, this this video here. Yeah, you have seen this obviously already. Okay. Oh yes. So that way the camera can see it. That way I can sync it. Up. This is brilliant. It, was this not the coolest this was, thing you've this ever was seen? Amazing. It was amazing. I, I just <laughs> watched it like what? I mean, he he's a com a committed, you know, worker. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. Does it with ease. <laughs> Look at that. Says it right up. <laughs> just keeps on trucking. That's Head brilliant. To the next phone. Yeah, he's going. Job to Maybe slow, but I get the job done. I heard that he came in uh, third in the Revan Tortoise race. Interesting. I mean, he wasn't in the race. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the other one. 
we were talking about. Okay. Or alligators crossing. Oh, yes. And they're making sure they use the crosswalk. Right in the crosswalk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He knows the law. Yeah. He knows the law. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> like, that is one big wow. Yeah, ugly. That tail is, is huge. Yeah. Oh. He's a big one. He's in front of that car, so he's probably about, he's seven, a big foot. He's probably about seven foot long. He is, he is huge, man. That, yeah. But that tail really is, because I know they were powerful. They use them for swimming. Yep. For swimming and clapping. They slap tails. Crop slapping. I will crop slap you in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this was a story that we were going to do. Uh, but sadly, I found out that it's not a real story. That's oh. this gal. Oh. This gal here. Uh, <laughs> put a picture up on the thing. Yeah, I, I, someone, I heard, heard someone say something about training the squirrels or something. Well, that's what this was, On yeah. the news this week. So I think, yeah. Yeah, this is on the free press. They, uh, so this this gal was accused of uh, training 27 <laughs> squirrels to attack her ex-boyfriend. And, and it turns out it's just a Facebook joke. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see if I can find the uh, W... Uh, da, 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 da. So it was shared by WIMIFM 99.7 radio station in Ironwood with the caption for entertainment purposes only this week. Yeah, I thought it was news. That's great. That's Ran great. it all over Facebook. I was hoping it was news. Yeah, I was too. It's brilliant. Because it was. It was I didn't so even read. I didn't even read through it. I just saw it and I was like, "Just that, I'm sending this." Just that picture. Just the picture alone. I'm oh. telling you. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so awesome. Yep. Like, she, I wonder if she like works there. Is like, yeah, I'll give my stupidest face. <laughs> Cause that's that's what that you know that's yeah it's a funny did. yeah she's doing a funny face or something <laughs> we'll get the intern to do it <laughs> they actually made me use it for my license yeah I was just joking <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a joke I didn't know it's gonna go viral cross eyes actually I am getting I'm my get I'm re uh, re uh, doing my license real soon uh huh so so you're thinking about doing well, that look well I'm gonna do uh it's gonna be subtle it's gonna be sort of like a dumb like. A dumb face. Okay. Like, I, I don't know. It's going to be in the moment, but they're going to say, and I'm just going to go, or something like, <laughs> it's just, it's going to capture in a weird way, I'm, I'm hoping. Nice. nice. But I, I've thought about that, like, next time. And now it's here. My face doesn't look that good anyway. So. <laughs> Mine yeah. doesn't either. That's do why I have to do something. Like, hey. one, t- one time I did this. <laughs> and I just, like, for four years, I was like, <laughs> like big eyes, you know. That's not you. I'm like, oh yeah, that's you. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Yeah, because I can't do that. I don't have the big eyes. <laughs> My little tiny beady eyes. Oh, I got huge eyes, My buddy. Beady eyes. <laughs> beady eyes. <laughs> beady eyes. <laughs> beady beady. All right. So this next one is uh, there. Uh, this is the uh, chipmunks. Uh, there are plenty of acorns this this spring, and now the chip chip can't hardly read. Now the chipmunks are driving people nuts. <laughs> Their frenetic activities can be entertaining, but this summer in New England, the varmints are making a nuisance. I love how they use the word varmints. Oh, yeah, I thought that was an Albert Bud word. Varmints! You just never hear. Oh! <laughs> Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Come Sam. here, you varmint! That's who it was, Yosemite Sam. Come on, come I love that guy. Where was I? Uh, Sorry. The varmints were making a nuisance of themselves. Darting to and fro, digging holes in garden stone. They are, they're terrible critters. I have a bunch out of my house. They're awful. I own a bunch. I mean, I mean, I have a bunch. Yeah. yeah. And you've seen the movies. They're terrible. Yeah. Alvin's always getting in trouble. They can't act worth crap. No. Alvin! And they're singing voices? Yeah. No. No. They leave a lot to be desired. They actually split this eardrum. <laughs> I had to get it. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, Alvin, I'm telling you, yeah. he's a real punk. Yeah, oh yeah, he's always in trouble. Always that A trouble. does not stand for Alvin. No. <laughs> 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 uh, stands for Apple. He loves apples. Apple. Jeez, Carl, where'd your head go? I... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of another word to start with A, and nothing came. Nothing came. I was stuck he's... with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way out. You know? I was trying to go through the dictionary. Now this this one is uh, 
I think probably both of our favorite ones. A man. Yes. A man I know right away. Strolled down Central London's most popular shopping street on Friday, and the picture will be up here, so you can get the full. Hold on, I'm gonna get the biggest picture I can find. I'll blow the picture up that I have. Uh, a man strolled down Central London's most popular shopping street on Friday with only a mask to cover his nudity, leaving passerbys astounded, amused, and shocked. <laughs> glorious. Absolutely glorious. Hey, man. Yeah. He cares about his community. He's keeping them safe. He's keeping them safe from all kinds of... Yeah. He's wearing his mask. He's doing what they told him to do. <laughs> Just strutting. Love that strut, man. Oh, man, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. How, how, how is that on? What do you mean? Well, you know, how... I, I could I didn't see exactly I saw where the mask was you know and it was a really funny picture yeah but I didn't see how it was strapped on I don't know if it's around his legs I'm thinking that he's probably got a great carved butt and you just take those things <laughs> it's like a thong you went straight up in there oh, right up into the nowhere land that would that would make it that'd be even that would be it for me that that'd would be, be he just, would be man of the year for me this one's funny uh, Philippine health officials on Wednesday swiftly corrected President Rodrigo Duterte after he wrongly advised residents to disinfect face masks with gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> what you do is you put the gas on it, put it on, and then light it, and it'll just yeah, it's great for disinf- smoking. It'll disinfect it. It will disappear. It will, it will. It will kill the germs. At the end of the day, hang the mask somewhere and spray it with Lysol if you can afford it. Duterte said. <laughs> For people who don't have Lysol, drench it in gasoline or diesel, and that son of mm, COVID won't stand a chance. Put just, it on right after and breathe in deep. <laughs> just, just find some gasoline and dip your hand with the mask in it, the president said. <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday, the country's Department of Health Undersecretary, uh, Maria Roser uh, Berger, Suggested that Duterte was joking and that residents should definitely not take the advice seriously. You know how the president speaks. It's probably one of his jokes. Whatever. Especially about gasoline. That's hilarious. Turning it on my uh, news briefing. And here's the real advice. Instead, cloth masks should be washed every day after every use. Should be washed and dried under the sun, she said. So that's a little bit more reasonable. Although ducking in gasoline is way more fun. Yeah. <laughs> The gasoline kills everything on my hands. Have you ever seen them so sparkly? Mm, you you just can, have this nice I mean, it's aroma. so clean you can almost see the bone. How many people would have just been just uh, knocked out? The president told me. Then they woke up, they're like, Let's do it again, baby. Well, he got a bunch of people hooked on huffing gas. Oh. This is our last story. We'll go back to that other one. Okay. A woman was who was left bloodied after being attacked while swimming in Australia told reporters, I still love sharks, as she was stretchered off to the hospital Tuesday. <laughs> the 29-year-old filmmaker was taking a dip off Queensland when she was set upon, suffering cuts and a possible broken ankle. But the woman who was working on a shark documentary, but was not named, was still determined to give the ocean predators the benefit of the doubt. I still love sharks, she yelled to the camera crews as she was wheeled past on a stretcher. Sharks are beautiful. Although the woman was in pain, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Well, she was bleeding to death. I still love sharks. I think they like you even more. Wow. I think they love. I think they. Uh, I think they would love to have you over for dinner. I know he ate my ear, but I still love cannibals. I love them. <laughs> I love those, those wacky cannibals. It's the only time you ever heard me. Uh, and it turns out they may not. It may not have been a shark that got her. Well, uh, marine biologist Kara Phillips said. Uh, the fact that the woman's injuries were mi- relatively minor suggests it was unlikely that that shark would get her. Probably some other large fish. So she may not even know what one a of shark those, One of those like. octopus gangs. Yeah. <laughs> it was the beautiful shark. A little pipe. Hey, know. Charlie. <laughs> here comes a fresh one. <laughs> Hide behind that rock. <laughs> I'm a little fish. Go on up there. Go on up there. <laughs> she said, I just felt a bunch of punch- <laughs> bunch of light punches all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> Good Charlie boy, you did good. You got a six different places. Fat Joey, did you get her? <laughs> oh, I got her. I got her good. 
be swimming in these pots. No <laughs> she ain't more. coming back around here. <laughs> she does. We'll get a toe next time. <laughs> we'll get one eyed Louie. <laughs> he, he don't let go. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks from now, a woman was, found, was mauled by a one eyed fish. It was attached to her arm even after she was removed from the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to miss one out, Louie. He took one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> he was my 332nd brother. Oh, my God. I loved him. Oh, so fun. There's only 800 of us left. So they're the elderly owners of a laundromat in Taiwan have become unlikely social media stars thanks to an Instagram account where they model clothes that have been left behind by customers. <laughs> Chang Shou Er, 84, and husband Wan Jie, Wan Ji, 83, became viral celebrities in Taiwan and, and internationally after their grandson, Reef Chang, set up an Instagram account to show off the photos he snapped of his grandparents modeling at their business, Man Su's Laundry Shop in Taichung. I, I'm gonna give the Instagram out here. It's uh, www, well, it's Instagram.com. At want show as young. Want show as young. All one word. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for this week's show. All right. I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you to subscribe to the channel, but uh, if you do, uh, that will help us out. Uh, we like to eat. 